Since it's almost Christmas, I thought I'd show you a really quick and easy way to make an inexpensive and fun wreath for the dolls to hang in the dollhouse. So join me for this Trash to Treasure Thursday project and see how easy this is. For the base to build our wreath on, we need something kind of firm that we can work with. And I use usually use these, well, let's see, they're called splits, steel split rings. They're 32 millimeters. So it looks to me to be about, oh, I don't know, inch, inch and a half across. I like these because they're nice and sturdy. But you need something like this to build on. And for this size, I like to use three chenille stems total. And you just need these and, it's, and the green chenille stems and we're ready to go. Those are where we start. And I'll start this one and then I'll show you what it looks like. So you're just going to wrap this and you're going to pack this chenille stem in as tightly as you can. And you'll get, n I, I usually get not quite all the way around with the first stem. And then I do a second and in some places there's actually three layers of chenille stem by the time I'm done. So rather than watching me do this, you know, the whole way through, do that. Wherever this one ends, start the next one. Where it ends, start the next one. And build up until you've got a nice sized wreath. Now this one is, this is usually how I end them. That last little bit you don't need to wrap as tightly together so it kind of goes around and makes it even. Because the way chenille stems are, the ends will kind of hide for you. And then you're ready to decorate. You can decorate this however you want. You can use beads, you can use buttons, you can use ribbon. I'm going to show you this one, but trust me, your imagination is your only limit. Your imagination and what you've got. If you're doing this just with stuff on hand, you know, look through and see what you've got. I'm going to use just some regular tacky glue. I'm going to put it out on my tile. My stuff is kind of all moved around here. I had to move all my work tables the other day and put that plastic insulating stuff on my windows. So everything got moved around and now I can't find anything again. All right, so I'm going to cut a piece and We'll waste some ribbon, but ribbon is cheap. Dip it in there. I think I'm actually going to put just a drop of super glue. Just so that we can work a little faster here. If I was doing this not on video, I probably, you know, then the I may not use the super glue. I'd probably let it sit. But I want to get going. And then you can wrap your ribbon around. And remember, Christmas decorations are whatever color you want them. I'm doing a traditional green and red here. But you don't have to. You can use whatever color scheme you want for your dolls. You can do this in any size. Um, if you can find a bigger ring, you can make a bigger wreath. And wreaths come in all sizes in real life. I mean, you know, they come all different sizes, so depending on where you're going to use them. Come on, feed through there. And you're just going to wrap this around until you're happy with it. I'm trying to stay somewhat even. I always have trouble with this part of wrapping ribbon on a real wreath or on a miniature one. I have a friend that makes really pretty wreaths and she always has her ribbon all pretty and a, you know arranged really nicely and mine always just kind of looks like I flopped it there but you get the idea. 
and then you can take your extra and this up and glue it back to where you started. I think. Put some glue there. Little drop of whoops, little drop of super glue. Try not to glue anything to my tile where I just spilt that. I'm just gonna cut it off like this, and then later I will cut it close after the glue dries. There. Now you can just make a regular bow. I'm I'm pulling my ribbon off camera where I can make a bow. Just tying a bow like you would your shoelaces. You could tie a fancy bow. You could tie a regular bow. Yeah, I'm just trying to do something quick here so you get the idea. But and you can make. And I mean, this is just a really really basic wreath. So we'll put some glue on the back. I'm going to stick a little super glue here. And I think I'll put super glue right here and right there and hopefully I'll be able to find that again and not super glue my fingers. Come on, where did I put that? Um, ah, it's cold in here. I'm practically shivering, even with this stuff on my windows. And then you could take some beads. You could put beads on. I'll just put a couple little things of beads here. But And this is just a really quick, you know, idea. And this is what these videos are supposed to be. They're supposed to be just to give you the idea of, gee, I could do this. I can take these items I've got. This was just stuff I found. Okay, that's not going to work. Let's see if I can do it with tweezers today. If it wasn't so blasted cold in my off, in my workroom, it would be so much more pleasant to do a video. We don't normally get this cold, especially not this early. But I know my friends, I even have friends in Texas that had, they had more ice than we did. Of course, we haven't had ice. We've been really dry, but really cold. Let's see if I can, are we still where you guys can see? I hope. My hands are shaking from the cold today. I don't know why, but when I put beads on, I always do them in groups of three on these. do another little batch over here and this is just to show you this can be really quickly done um, and I bet you guys will do a much better job because you're not trying to videotape it and talk and do everything else at once not to mention you're probably not freezing while you're doing your crafts Come on. Yeah, let's put one more batch down here and we'll just call this one good today. But, you know, you guys, use your imaginations. If you've got some of those fancy buttons that come in different shapes that you can get for the holidays, you can even use paper punches or you could probably glue little tiny stickers on here. This is just a starting point. I would love to see what you guys do with this project. So if you make one, post a picture of it on the Facebook page. I want to see what you do. Uh, join me. Be, oh, be sure to check the blog post. I'll try and type up an, a good blog for this one. Be sure to check the Facebook page, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.